Hi, I'm Dr. Dexter Perkins. I teach mineralogy here at the University of North Dakota. And this is uh, my mineralogy lab. It is entirely a teaching lab. We have both lecture sections and laboratory sections in this particular classroom this semester. So let's go in. So the most important thing about this lab are all these rock cabinets over here that contain the mineral specimens that we look at when we're teaching mineralogy. And this is a world-class collection. Uh, we have a lot of different minerals. These happen to be ore minerals um, for various metals in this cabinet. Um, in other cabinets over here, we have common rock-forming minerals that form in metamorphic or sedimentary or igneous rocks. Uh, we just got a fantastic uh, collection here, and we use it all the time when we're teaching. Um, so most of the classes that are here, when they're lecture classes, students are sitting here and I'm lecturing in front of the uh, computer screen there. When we're doing lab classes, the students work in groups on the lab tables. We um, basically, we've got no caustic chemicals in here. We've got no highly flammable materials, nothing toxic. So really, there's no need for anything significant in the way of safety precautions in this lab. Um, I can show you a couple of things over here that may be of concern once in a while, but really um, don't cause us any problems. We've got a, uh, a hood here, and for some, sometimes when we're preparing rock and mineral samples, we grind them up on, in a mortar and pestle such as this one, and occasionally we use acetone, here's a can of acetone, to lubricate during grinding. And we always do that under the hood uh, because we don't want anybody um, breathing in acetone fumes. We also occasionally use dilute hydrochloric acid to test mineral samples and we do that under the hood as well. Um, the acid is only uh, just a couple of percent HCl and it's not uh, any cause for alarm or risk or anything like that, but we still do it under the hood just to take extra precautions. Um, this lab is also equipped with a uh, shower that's left over from many years ago when we did have some uh, dangerous chemicals in this lab. But I've been at the University of North Dakota for 40 years. We've never wanted the shower and we've never used the shower in 40 years. In fact, they come and test it every year and they always seem surprised that it still functions. So that's really um, our mineralogy lab. It's, uh, it's a great resource. Uh, if you have any other questions for me, I'll be glad to answer them. Just contact me and thanks for doing what you guys do.